so students now we are going to learn our next topic that is fundamental theorem of arithmetic fundamental theorem of arithmetic this statement says every composite number can be expressed as a product of prime and this factorization is unique apart from the order in which the factors occur so here first of all every composite number that is composite number you know what are what are composite numbers the number which are more than one but are not prime what is composite number composite number are the numbers that are more than one more than one but are not prime more than one but are not prime that means 2 3 4 5 here 2 is prime number so this is not composite 3 prime number not composite 4 it is not prime so it is composite number but 5 is not because 5 5 is more than one but but not a prime number yes, sorry but a prime number therefore 4 is the least composite number in other words we can say a number which are which is having more than two factors more than two factors that is 4 can be written as 1 into 2 that is or we can write into 2 or we can write the factors factors of 4 are 1 2 and 4 so our least composite number is 4 okay now here in the statement every composite number can be expressed can be expressed means can be factorized as a product of prime numbers as a product of prime numbers and this factorization is unique unique you know unique apart from the order in which the prime factors occur i am giving you one example that is suppose 210 one number is 210 we have to find its prime factorization so 2105 then 335 then 5771 here the Prime factors are two, three, five, and seven. We can write, we can write or express two hundred ten as three into five into two into seven. Got it? Or two hundred ten is equal to two into seven into five into three. Or 210 is equal to 7 into 3 into 5 into 2 or 210 is equal to 3 into 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 but according to order of representation we can write 210 as 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 this is standard set setting or standard order we can say order is an order now one more example we have we want we will clear suppose 420 one more example is 420 2 210 then 2105 then 335 then 5 7 and 7 One. That means four twenty can be expressed as two into two into three into five into seven. Now you can see, sir, here two comes twice, 
so we have to write each number only once but 2 to the power we can write 2 into 3 into 5 into 7 so in this way we have to express the factorization of any number okay now we will do another question so now question is check whether 6 to the power n can end with the digit 0 for any natural number n that means if we do suppose here for any natural number n suppose here n is equal to 1 2 3 4 Then six to the power n is equal to six to the power one is equal to six. Six to the power two six into six is equal to thirty six. Six to the power three that is that is six into six into six that is two one six and so on. So we have to this we have to check whether six to the power n क्या कोई ऐसा नेचुरल नंबर है जो सिक्स टू दी पावर एन के फॉर्म में हो और इसका जो फैक्ट्राइजन और इसका जो वैल्यू है दैट वैल्यू बिकम एंड विथ जीरो क्लियर दैट मीन्स वी हैव टू वी हैव टू चेक वेदर सिक्स टू दी पावर एन द वैल्यू वी गेट दैट वैल्यू एंड विथ डिजिट Zero or not, the students. Any number which is having zero in its end, that must be have two and five as its factors. Suppose any number, any number. Suppose twenty-five into ten, that is two fifty. Three to five into hundred, that is three to five zero zero. Twenty twenty six into two hundred that is five twenty the five thousand two hundred. That means any number is multiplied by ten will get its unit digit or ends with digit zero. Or multiply by hundred or multiply by two hundred multiply by three hundred multiply by thousand multiply by one thousand and so on. That means This ten, this ten, the factor of ten is two and five. Got it? Factors of hundred, that is two into two into five into five. Got it? That means any number with ending zero have must have their factors as two. And five. Okay. So here, here the factors of six factors of six are one, two, and three. Or six is equal to two into three. That means six to the power n is equal to two into three whole to the power n. Whole to the power n. Now, six to the power n. This can be written as two to the power n into three to the power n. Got it? But here we don't have five as a common factor of as a as a factor of six. That means we will not get zero at the end. So we can write here since five to the power n is not a factor. Of six, therefore, it does not ending. Therefore, six to the power n does not ending with digit zero. Got it? Now we will do another example.
Now students, our next topic is finding LCF and HCF by prime filtration method. This method we have studied earlier classes. Okay. Now again we will recall it. Suppose two numbers are six and sixty. Two numbers are we have given six and sixty. So six and the express two zero six three one six and sixty. 16, 2, 13, then 2, 13, then 3, 5, then 5, 1. That means 6 can be expressed as 2 into 3 and 16 can be expressed as 2 into 2 into 3 into 5. Or we can write is equal to 2 to the power 2 into 3 into 5. Now what is the HCF? HCF, I'm writing here. HCF, the product, the product of least, least power of common factors, common factors involved, involved in the numbers. This is the same. The product of least power of common factors involved in the numbers. Here, least power is 2. Least power. Here, common factors are here, common factors are 2 and 3. Okay. Now, least power is 2 to the power 1. Here, 2 to the power 2. Here 3 to the power 1. Here also 3 to the power 1. That means we will multiply this least power of 2 and least power of 3 to get our HCF. That means we can write HCF of 6 and 60 uh, is equal to 2 into 3, that is 6. Similarly, LCM. What is LCM? The product, the product of highest powers of prime factors, prime factors involved, involved in the numbers. That means here highest power is 1, here highest power is 2. That means HCL and LCM of 6 and 16 is equal to 2 to the power 2 into. Here highest power of 3, 1. Here also highest power of 3, 1 into 3 into. Highest power of 5, that is also. 1. Here we can write 5 to the power 0. So highest power is 5. That is 5. So LCM of 6 and 60 is equal to 4 divided 12 factor 60. So you can see LCM of 6 and 60 is 6. But LCM of 6 and 60 is 60. Now we can conclude here that we can conclude here HCF of two numbers A and B multiplied LCM of these two numbers A and B will become A into B. Here 6 HCF of 6 and 60 is 6 and LCM of 6 and 60 is 60 that is 360. Also A into B is also 360. Got it? So this is our formula to be used in the another questions. LCF of A into A and B multiplied by LCF of A and B is equal to multiplied of two numbers. Okay. Now we will proceed to the next topic.